Hi friends, welcome to Joyfido International. Now, today I'm bringing you really something exciting. I know I said that all the time, but yes, they are always exciting. I love exciting things. My name is Joyfido and welcome on board. Okay, so Joyfido International is all about, you know, image and, you know, confidence and giving you that ability to be yourself. So today's video is going to be about makeup. Um, I'm going to guide you through what I do to achieve those look that you see in my videos. And, you know, we get so many inquiries, how do you achieve them? Uh, we get people asking me all the time. I want to know what you do. So that's why I've decided to do this video. But it's going to come in amazing several steps so that whoever is struggling with any particular step can pick up that step. So that's what we're going to do today in this video. Okay, remember it's all about image and confidence and who you are and being yourself and being proud of who you are. So this particular video is going to be talking about how I mix up my foundation to achieve that color match. Now, why is this so important? Lots of people struggle to find their color in the shops. They've, they've tried all different amazing brands and nothing really matches their particular color. This video was inspired by one of my friends and she is always struggling to find the right color for her complexion. And so I had to explain to her what I do and she was curious enough and said, please, can you do it for me? Which I've done for her and the reason is because she's going away, she's traveling, and she's going to be going for a wedding, and she wants to look her best. So she needed to get this right. Now, normally, if she's around me, she comes back, and I get her, I sort out her makeup, and she's happy with it. But because she's not going to be around me, she's taking this trip away for this wedding, we needed to give her something that will help her achieve this look that she can be comfortable and con you know, confident in. And I thought, okay. If she is struggling, so are many more people out there. And that's why I decided to do this video. So we're going to focus on how we mix our foundation to achieve that color that matches our particular complexion. So what it is, um, if you can see in the pile of foundations that I have on my table now, there's so many different brands. And if you know me, we've done this in a few videos before, a makeup video where I talked about the different brands. I said I'm not, um, I'm not a brand freak. I don't, I don't get excited about brands. Um, now, my take on makeup is I've done a, a little training on makeup. I did a training in New York a long time ago. And so I, I have this natural love for makeup because it helps to bring out that personality that you want people to see you you don't want to hide behind yourself so when you wear your makeup it allows you to feel good about yourself and then um you present the best of you so there are people out there who fight makeup like crazy i just don't do makeup i hate makeup and all of that that's fine that's who you are but I am the kind of person that loves the makeup because it helps me feel good about myself. And so I invest in makeup. So I've done a few crash courses in makeup. I will not be saying to you, I teach makeup, but the makeup that I've worn that makes me feel good about myself is what I'm going to be presenting today. And that's what people ask me questions about. So. Like I said, I'm not a fan of or a, a, a freak for brands, but what I do is I get different brands. And, and then what I then do with them is I mix them up such that it gives me a nice base that I can use for my makeup. Okay, so the brands. Um, so I tend to, you remember what I was saying about color matching um this is one of the foundations that i've really picked up on that fenty beauty which rihanna brought out um what did fenty beauty bring on board she was able to to try and catch this issue of color matching um and then i think they have over 35 different colors 
I'm not so sure about that because I remember when, when it first came out, that was a big issue. So she had to pick up on several shades to be able to catch everybody's complexion. But that is still very difficult. So this is where you're going to see, I'll be showing you different brands and you're going to find that I'm going to mix all these different brands together to now achieve something. Now, what you're going to ask me, which I was asked just now is, is this referring to just me? No. What you find is when you go to the shops to look at these different brands, True Match, for instance, um, Revlon, um, you've seen Fenty already, what's this one? Um, Max Factor, um, Bobby Brown, um, Smashbox, uh, what's this one? Lancome. Um, what you're going to find is, there's another interesting one, again Lancome. Each of these brands have several colors. They all have several colors. So, Take the color that's nearest to you. Don't say, oh, I'm not going to buy because the color is different. There's also mark here. So buy a color that's nearest to you. And then depending on the various colors you picked up, this is when you're going to do what I'm doing now. You mix all of them up. What will happen is you will then end up having a color that's best on your skin. Again, my, my, interest or hunger for makeup i did a short course on how to create foundation and what that course taught me was behind everything they've used here is clay clay is the main ingredient in foundation so from that clay they start adding different shades of colors to to the clay to give us these different shades that we are creating or we found so because you're mixing all of the different colors, what would then happen is you end up with a completely different color. So that's, that's the science behind what I do. So now I'm going to just show you how I do it. This is another one. I got this one from Nigeria, Zaron. Um, about Zaron, it was a weird case because um, my friend who helps me deal with most things when I get to Nigeria, I told her, I want a color. She done a makeup on somebody that I saw and I said, oh, I want a color that looks like that. And so she automatically brought me very dark colors and they did not connect with me at all. <laughs> but knowing what I do with foundation, I did not complain. I just mix all of them up. So you're going to see some of them are really light, um, like this Max Facto, uh, like this True Match L'Oreal. And some of them are really dark, like the Zarons or like Bobby Brown. Um, this is a BB cream, I'm sure, or maybe you've have, you haven't heard about BB cream, but BB cream for some people is even foundation that they use without having to add anything else. So let's get on with this, enough talking. Okay, so this is, I'll show you what I have beforehand so you have an idea what this is getting to. So this is my foundation that I've mixed over time this is a nice little container for it um i'll tell you why i use something this small because i travel a lot and you know when you're traveling they're very fussy about the size of your travel makeup and all of that so something as small as that is perfect and you don't need too much because it will cover you for a period of time so this is what that looks like when it's brand new an empty little container like that and your makeup can be added in there um if you're in the uk i got this from boots it comes in a nice they call it a travel case um, just travel case makeup or containers and and i just use that for it so that's an empty container this is another container i i saw i think i got this from some kind of a hotel or i can't remember where but i lost the cover this would have been fantastic for it because this is bottle yeah well the other one is just plastic bottle are better for concealing or saving most things so that's that one if you have something as small as that is perfect for it um now my friend that i'm just talking about who's traveling came with this and so what she did is whenever um whenever she's 
run out of creams or she's finished using a cream she just saves them beautiful containers like this and so when she brought it, i said this is perfect so we mixed hers in that and i said can i have one and then she gave me one so she has quite a few so again if you have beautiful bottle based containers like this you can use them so this is what we're going to mix our foundation in today just so that i can have a bit of foundation for a period and this is the one i go out with most of the time so once you've got your beautiful container now you're ready to do your mixture this is how it goes you just look at them again um because i have so many and you know foundations are quite expensive what you don't do is don't kill yourself and say i want to have the most expensive foundation no some of them are like really really cheap brands like that one that particular one is from primark if you're in the uk it's really cheap i can't remember how cheap maybe maybe three pounds or five pounds i can't remember well things like that was i got that in the states um, from smashbox i think this was 35 dollars and things like fenty beauty uh my daughter got that for me as a present maybe 25 30 pounds and things like clinique and clinique and lancome um there's another lancome these ones are like the really expensive ones some of them are like 35 pounds 40 pounds so it's just a range of brands and you don't have to worry if it's not top brand or or it's cheap brand it doesn't matter what you want to do is you just mix them up and you achieve what you're looking for um another thing i was going to say is i because you've seen so much here people always ask me why do you keep so much it's because I, I just love foundation. That's that's the honest truth. Most times when it's my birthday, my kids ask me, what do you want? I say, I want foundation. Because I know what I do with them. So that's why I always want foundation. Anyway, true match is the first thing we're putting in. And so you just quote a little bit in there. Not too much. And then we're going max factor. This is really light. Now what you're going to find is, from what I've just done here, you can see the two different colors. Because that was what shocked my friend as well, when she brought her particular brand of foundation. And um, by the time in I... there, if you can see them. And that's made up of, um, this is the Primark one I was talking about. One of the Primark ones. And that's true match there and that's max factor there so making three different colors and that's how the process is going to carry on um again another true match by a different shade of it some of them are like a bit old aha uh -huh. i like what's happening here because you can see what I'm... so you can see that this is a different shade of true match is darker this one this is Revlon okay so a bit of Revlon has gone in there um, this one is Clinique Okay, so this is Bobbi Brown, um, a darker color. Okay, this is Lancome. Okay, so question could be how much of it should I put in? Um, what guides me sometimes is how much I have in the container because you can see this one is so small in it. It might not even give me much. How much I have in there and how dark or how light it is. So what you're going to find is when you finish, if you finish your mixture and it's too dark, you can lighten it. 
if you finish your mixture and it's too, it's too light you can darken it this is Bobby um, this is Mac and this is Smashbox one of my one of my latest This is Lancome. Some of them are really weird. Lancome is a struggle. See how that comes out? So because of that, I really don't add Lancome to my mixture. See, nothing comes out. But if you put that in, it's a bit like what they do with the lipstick these days. If you put it in, um, sometimes when I'm doing my makeup and I just want to have a hint of this color and I just work with that, that um, the top separately on its own. This is Dema Blend. It's quite an old brand, um, and what this was talking about is conceal and treat. So it, it tries to deal with acne-prone skin, but again, because it's a conceal and see that, so I add some of that. So I use it in. I actually like it. Um, then this is the BB cream we talked about earlier. Some people use BB cream on its own, like uh, people who really don't like foundation, they just use it on its own. This is, um, what's this brand? It's quite an old brand. Um, I think Mary Kay, I'm not so sure. But this one you can see is really light. Just a little bit in there. Um, this is the primer brand. Oh, this is one of the brand new ones. I think I have. I have another one that we used before, but I can just open it up just for you to see. So I'm kind of like my own um, scientist. <laughs> it's quite interesting. Okay, here goes Zaron. Remember I said it's really dark. One I haven't used at all and one I think. So watch. See how dark that is. You can now see the nice combination we have there now. One was a darker shade and one was slightly lighter. I hope this is the one. Or oh, even darker. Oh, that's even darker. So that's all our different mixtures that we've got on the table. Um, if I had any more, I would add, but then I don't need any more right now. Okay, so now I'm ready to mix. Um, I just added this for you to see what choices you have. Now, don't give yourself any stress and say, oh, well, I need to have a special stick for mixing. No, anything can be used. This is just a, a highlighting pen on the table, and I just picked it because it's clean here. And so wipe it, clean it up. If you need to wash it, do what you need to do, and you just use it to mix it. Um, the reason I go for smooth ends is because when I'm done, I will just apply that directly on my um, makeup brush so that it cleans it off before I can now use um, a tissue to wipe it. And then it cleans out really quickly. So it's just for you not to, you know me, I try to look for as simple as possible. I don't like people stressing themselves over nothing. So see that? That would have been fine. But then I do have the sticks around, which happens to be my daughter's sticks. She uses it for her beauty thing. So what I then do is use that to mix up this. So look at what I'm doing. 
so you just go in circular motion and that's it just make sure everything is blended in together I think I think the whole idea for me doing this although I think years ago when I went for my makeup course that that was what the lady taught us that you don't really need one foundation to achieve your makeup look all you have to do is mix it but I don't recall us mixing this in class mm. I think she just applied different ones and um, different times so but because I do homemade creams that's where the whole idea came from I thought okay if I could mix different oils and achieve a cream why can't I just mix all different types of foundation and that's how it came about but I'm sharing that knowledge with you today because you know me I like sharing what I know anyway so that's it mix it really well make sure there's nothing hanging in between and this is mine that I use all the time after I've mixed it so now if you find look at it <laughs> this was tricky with my friend because I had to mix two bottles for her as well there was one that I said this would, would be your everyday use and the one that she was traveling with and we did the everyday use and we used it on her skin and she loved it and so we're not trying to match exactly the same in the bottle and so each time she said no I don't think you've got it right I don't think you've got it right and what I did was you can see from here this is slightly lighter and this is a bit darker so what I'm going to do is bring in the lighter ones so you see a hint of light there um, then I'll go for any any particular brand that I like a lot more um, there's Mac which is a good brand uh, and I could bring in like my latest ones I'm, I'm going to add a bit more Fenty Beauty this is a nice brand so I'll mix again and see if I'm getting closer to the one I've done before this is just a process you take on by yourself once you've seen that it's getting there once you mix it and you think oh no this is too light just darken it and if you think this is too dark just lighten it and that's the whole idea such that you're not thinking I have to go to the shop and get the right the right color for my skin or my complexion or whatever I'm hoping this has um, enriched your knowledge about this and you're going to try it out and I'll be quite happy to hear from you guys what you found out and this is just saying to you don't try away any foundation you've got just make make the best use of them mix them up and you have your own perfectly blended makeup for yourself so if this has helped you share with other people as well that's the whole point of the universe you want us to keep sharing don't keep anything to just yourself share with other people okay so you can see the the previous color and i mean the one i had before and the new one now remember you have to practice this a few times for you to get the perfect one for you because it's about getting different squirts from each of them and it would be either it be too high too much or too little and just a little bit more and a little bit less so you just play with that and remember the containers are quite small so you're not wasting anything don't put too much if you're not sure and then slowly you get a good hang of it and you get good at this the whole idea here is for you to understand your foundation base that will create that amazing look that you want on your skin so I was saying give us a thumbs up if you like this video share it with your friends because people need this knowledge I, I know so many people who get so lost with people who get so lost with how to get the right foundation I I have never had any problem with foundation in the shop because you can see the array that I have here and I never complain to anybody I can't find my, my color match so this is why I decided to share this knowledge with you so share with your friends share um give us a thumbs up 
practice on your own and please i like to hear feedback did you achieve something was it good did, 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 did it give you something unique were you able to feel good about yourself after you finish your foundation mix and you created the the color that you were looking for um and remember to subscribe because this channel we show so many different things we're not boring we just every day there's something new for you to learn from for us it's about inspiring you to become the better better side of yourself so um this is it for now and you're gonna see another video where i start to do my makeup so i look forward to seeing you in that video and thank you so much for watching